What is going on? It's Justin from McKinney Designs. Uh, very, very different setting in today's episode. Normally you see me in my studio hunkered down engraving something with my little backdrop. This is totally different. I'm actually on Saul's Plain, which is right at my doorstep. I'm very, very lucky to uh, be in this area. It's very, very tranquil, very nice. And I have the ability to take things like these out in the wilderness. And believe it or not, yes, she's a pavement princess. But that's what this episode is all about. It's about 3.2 wild track the uh, Ford Ranger behind me um, it's a manual I prefer the manual over the auto anyway we're not going to get into that and then ready so what are we going to bring you along on the journey with is what we're going to do to this vehicle in the next coming months so we are going to purchase a front winch bumper some side steps a rear bumper we're going to have obviously go through the engraving and the design aspects of that and then act physical fitment of it so if you're someone looking for to do this to your vehicle in terms of your Ranger then it might be good for you it might be beneficial which is really great but it's it's going to be a very much sort of 50-50 uh, very sort of on the fence in terms of looking super cool um, and very very capable that is the the point of this um, what we want to do to this vehicle. Uh, there has been some modification uh, to some degree on the vehicle in terms of more cosmetic than anything else so such as rims and bolt-on parts we've done that to really sort of advertise the engraving side of things and here in the UK people don't really see much of it so it's still very very new and fresh and when they come up to the truck and they have a look at things um, they don't believe me when I say it's hand engraved um, they think it's a sticker or it's been sprayed on so they physically have to touch it and I encourage them to touch the vehicle um, where it's been engraved um, so yeah that is going to encourage them even more when the winch bump is all engraved um, the whole front is going to be done I really look forward to it. We've got the designs ready, waiting to go, and we're going to do the side steps, and we're going to do the, the rear bumper. So it's going to be all round, and then we're going to little progress probably into the motor area in terms of intercooler pipes, things like that. Um, we've done some of the stuff on the inside of the vehicle. That's more pinstriping by a very well-known artist, artist here in the UK called Simon from Nefarious. If you've seen his work, check it out. I'll put a link down below. Um, he's done all the pinstriping. On my on my vehicles, which is uh, great, and I really top dude, top top dude. Anyway, let's get into the nitty gritty. What do you want to? What do you've come here to see? Yeah. All right, you got to excuse me. I don't vlog much, so um, I'm pretty new to this kind of stuff. Anyway, so the the surrounding area is absolutely spectacular. This is Salisbury Plain. I'm very lucky indeed to live right on the doorstep of Salisbury Plain and I have the ability to take my vehicle and my family, my dogs and everybody and we just go crazy out in the wilderness here. It is absolutely beautiful, like today, stunning, beautiful weather. You, you can probably hear the wind blowing as well. Anyway, let's get into it. So we'll start from the front and what's been done currently and what we're going to do. Um, so basic sort of upgrades, uh, which is the wind deflector for the, for the uh, bonnet. Looks pretty cool. It does change the look of the vehicle, I like it. It looks a little bit more aggressive. So we did that, and um, like I mentioned before, um, Simon from Nefarious did all the um, pinstriping for us. Some beautiful work. He's a seasoned veteran with a paintbrush, I can tell you that right now. Um, this is all freehand, um, absolutely amazing work. Um, I'll put a link down below to his uh, stuff. So um, we've done the LED upgrade to the Ranger itself. Um, pretty cheap, quite affordable. Um, and then we've gone for like sort of the Raptor grill. As you can see, some of the LEDs are starting to fade now. Um, but that's all going to get ripped out. That's going to get changed, and we're going to go 100% custom. It's going to be custom cut out and made, um, and I'm going to engrave that and bits and pieces. So it's going to be one of a kind. That's exactly what I want. I don't want something that you can just buy off the shelf. Um, that's the whole point of this whole build. Um, unfortunately for everything else, we're going to have to get that off the shelf because it's made for the vehicle in terms of safety aspects, all that kind of stuff. So down here, we bought a city bar, which is, that's what it's called. Again, another cheap little upgrade. It looks quite cool and it does change the look of the vehicle. 
considerably. As you can see, it does give it a good old look. So, the theme for the vehicle um, is a Maori theme. Um, why? I've always been drawn to the Maori artwork. I like the the background stories of all the artwork and the symbols and the meanings and everything. So, um, I'm very, very much drawn to that. So that. That is why I've chucked so much Maori artwork on here, and hence the name Maori King. Um, that's going to be the name of the truck. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to lose the bar because we're going to go for a winch bump bump on the front. It's going to be the option um, steel winch bumper, very very good looking sort of sheet metal uh, bumper, and it has two spotlights instead of the singles. It comes standard with the Ranger. It's going to have two now, either side which is quite cool and then a space for a nice thick winch I can't wait to see that on there and um, we're gonna have a few nice bits and pieces bolted onto there um, so yeah that's that's pretty much the front and it's gonna be fully engraved all the way around um, we're gonna really accentuate bigger pictures go more in detail the things so really bring out the artwork a whole lot more instead of just sort of patterns and things like that so that's pretty much that side now, onto the wheels. Now, you're probably wondering what size these wheels are. These are 33 inch um, tires. These are the Toya Open Country tires. These are fantastic wheels. Um, they're not very loud in terms of road noise, which is very, very surprising compared to the tires I had before. Anyway, and these are the rims I have are the 20 inch XD series KMC uh, Buck and they've got a nice little dish on them. And they've been in, engraved. You can see all the uh, nice B-roll. When it's clean, it looks really, really nice, but that's the point of this. It's, it's going to be a working vehicle that is allowed to get dirty. Um, we've done a two inch lift to the vehicle. Um, and what I say, two inch lift is probably the cheap band's lift. But we want to go uh, do a proper lift kit for it. Um, that's what we would like to do. Um, change the ride and the comfortability comfortability is that even a word um, the overall sort of feeling of the ride um, it's quite stiff I guess now um, I have I guess that's because the suspension is kind of stretched to its sort of height I don't know I'm not an expert on that but I think we want to go for a proper two inch lift and you know see where that takes us um, so now currently with the side steps just the bog standard Ford Ranger side steps. We have done some engraving on the on the middle there. Um, nothing spectacular, but these are going to be removed and these are going to be changed for the, uh, the option side steps. A very very aggressive looking option side steps, um, and I'll show you all that in the coming videos when the, the kit arrives. I'm pretty excited to see all this stuff. And then we're going to complement the entire vehicle with a rear bumper. Again, with the option bumper. Um, Y option, uh, I've always liked the look of it. Um, fantastic designs and the things that it comes with the bumpers, uh, it's basically ticked all my little boxes. Um, that's what we were looking for. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to lose the um, tow bar that we currently on, have on. I'm quite grateful for, because I don't like the look of this, this tow bar. So that's gonna have to be removed and we're gonna have the, the bumper comes with a American style receiver hitch which you can remove, which is quite cool. So that is what is gonna happen on the rear. Um, and we've done other various bits and pieces bolted onto the truck. Um, and what people like to know is what light bar is on there. And that is one really, really nice light bar. Very, very capable, super bright, and the quality is outstanding. Now I bought that light bar from Steady in Australia. It came with the bracketry as well very simple to put on um, and the wiring again um, pretty cool and in terms of the whole setup you get the light bar uh, the brackets were an extra you had to get those as an extra um, the, it came with the whole wiring harness isolator switch relays uh, and the fuse as well and how I wired it is basically I did along this windscreen so you can barely see it which is quite cool um, I've run along sort of the, the bead of the windscreen 
put it, stuck it into the recess, and you could probably just see it up there where it's hugging the, um, the, the roof rack, or the roof rail, should we say. Um, and then in the bumper, uh, sorry, in the bonnet, um, you've got one that goes to your battery, and then one that goes through the firewall for your internal isolator switch, and that's just plugged through there, and it runs sort of the back of the dash, and it comes out by the, uh, uh, the gear stick. Um, it was a bit fiddly that, I can tell you that right now, but when I got it in, it was pretty cool. The only thing I'm waiting for is the piggyback, which is uh, which will integrate the whole light system to your high beams. That's exactly what I want. So if I want to utilize it with my high beams, then I have that option to do that, or I can isolate it in the cab. So if I want to use my high beams without the uh, light bar, I can also do that. Um, so the, the winch bumper is going to come with uh, two spots on either side. This is the version two. I believe. Um, where am I getting all my kit is option, um, or option, it's from GeForce 4x4 and the chap you want to speak to is Trevor, hell of a nice guy, um, top class from first sort of point of contact, super helpful um, and he's basically spoken and helped me through the whole process of everything so we're going to explain in terms of tearing this vehicle apart what we have had to go on what we've had to go on through and what we're gonna to have to go through as well to actually fit these things and make sure that everything works. Um, I think the front is gonna take the longest because there's a lot to take off the vehicle and then getting the bumper on there and then I guess it's just the wiring into the, the spots um, and the side steps is gonna be a quick for a 10 minute job. So in a few brackets and the rear bumper is gonna take a little bit long because the, tow, the current tow bar but thankfully we've done all the fitment ourselves which is pretty cool and the people who've helped me and throughout the whole process of this vehicle is a um, car mechanic a very very capable dude he used to work on a rally team race rally team um, so he knows his stuff um, he's Alan Sons Mechanics you'll probably see that in further videos down the line um, great shop very very capable super friendly family run business um, and they've helped me from the day I got my truck and the things I started doing to it to you know uh, things we're going to be doing in the future which is um, really cool for them it's really it helps me a lot so I thank them you know from the bottom of my heart for all the help they've given us we really really appreciate it anyway dudes if you guys have any comments or suggestions um, anything um, please let me know um, and I'm not a guru in terms of 4x4, I'll just say that and just make sure that's very, very clear. Um, I do know a few things, but I'm not a, a super off-road guru um, that knows all these crazy things that most of the guys do know. Um, so I'm still learning myself, so bear that in mind. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the series and follow me along and make it a good one. Yeah! <laughs>